Hey, I seen that one, <laughs> that one live video where I, Uncle Somebody, where he'd be sitting there talking about, come on in the room, come on in the room. I do not want to be that person. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to start because I know you guys will come on in. Look, come on in the room because y'all know I start exactly at 7. And it is 7 o'clock, so good morning, lovely people, and welcome to Be Inspired. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Hey, Chrissy, how are you, hun? I'm glad you could join me. Thank you. I want to give my hellos out. Y'all know I got to drink, drink my little tea real quick. Helen, all oh, you lovely people. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to get started because I told you guys I start exactly at 7, so I don't want to keep you too long. Hey, Tosh. I'm going to talk about reducing distractions today and staying motivated. We have issues with staying motivated. Hey, Melvin. How you doing? Um, and this might be an issue for some people. It may be an issue, especially when uh, you're, mo you, you're trying to remain motivated on your stuff. So you already know how I am. I feel like that you guys, hey, good morning, Tina. I feel as though that you guys are most important to you. Okay, even if you have children and all that good stuff, I'm not saying neglect your children. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm actually saying is pay attention to you. Good morning, Michael. Pay attention to you because you are most important. All those other people that's attached to you, I call them appendages. <laughs> appendages attached to, attached to the main source. They are nothing without you. Just like a, um, a virus, it needs a host. And you are the host. So this is what I'm going to start with first. I'm going to tell you how to... Um, reduce distractions because it seems like every time good morning Deron it seems like every time you get ready to do something that you've always wanted to do something comes in and you'll be like okay well I'll put that on the back burner I'll put that over the back burner no more good morning Ash no more it's time to focus on you so here's how you and you know I'm gonna jot some stuff down good morning Tia I'm going to jot some things down because I don't want to forget because I'd be like doing this stuff like the night before and like what and I'd be asking God, what should I talk about tomorrow as far as being inspired? And then I reflect on my own life and I find that guess what? I'd be putting myself on a back burner, not interested in doing that anymore. Okay, lovely people. All right. So power your phone off. Not right now because we're doing being inspired. <laughs> okay, but power your phone off. That'll reduce distractions. Um... Sometimes you have to relocate out of the room because have you ever noticed that you'll be sitting there, you'll be doing something and somebody will come in there and you'll be like, now, you know, you see me busy, but okay, clearly you're, um, to you, your issue is more important than mine. Good morning, Lynette. So you just look up. Now there's a polite way that you can actually say, I was in the middle of doing something and it works. You know what I mean? I was in the middle of doing something. I'll get with you a little bit later. And then, of course, every time you turn around, especially with children, it's important right now. Now, I'll tell you what I did real quick. Uh, it was a time, especially when mine were younger, could not go in the bathroom, take a bath, nothing. They could not wait until you got out of that bathroom. So what I did, I put a little piece of paper up at their height, taped it on the bathroom door. This is how I had to stop this. Good morning, Antoinette. And I said... Write it down. I'll read it when I get out of the bathroom. Guess what? It wasn't that important. Because not nan note was on that <laughs> doggone paper when I got out of the bathroom. Because they were able to wait and I had to train them. You know what I'm saying? It was like, uh-uh. Not doing this. Also, know your schedule. Write a schedule down and say, this is what I'm doing and this is what I plan to stick to. Structure your day. Say, this is it. And, I, and, and you have to stick to it, okay? Really, really important. And I'm going to say this to you. Don't, um, don't cut your day in half. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to reduce distractions, just say, this is what it is. And overestimate your time. If I need five hours to do this, okay, five and a half hours. And do it. Do it. Now, usually some of the guys, good morning, Brian. Some of the guys, good morning, Patty. Uh, men have men, uh, man cages. Man cave, that's it. I said man cages. It depends on what you're doing, girl. But 
men, they have the man cave. And we already know that is just their time. They blocked it out. Boom. If you sit there, you got a husband, you got a man cave. When you go down there, those kids already know. Don't touch it. Dad just came back from work. Boom. This is his time. Unfortunately, it's mothers. We don't get that time unless you get a woman cave. Now, here's what's interesting. And it works. Headphones. You can reduce distractions by putting on some headphones. Okay? Now, some people at the... Um, at the gym, uh, they don't respect headphones. You put headphones on because you don't really want to be bothered. But then you got that person, you got the headphones on. And then you're sitting there and they like, um, excuse me. Then you're like, yeah, can I help you? They don't even, listen, my headphones, I don't even have nothing on. Okay? Zero on. But it is just to say, this is some me time and this is what I have to do. But if you're at the workplace or whatever the case may be, you put some headphones on, you'll get less distractions. All right? And also, um... When, like I said, the woman cave and the man cave, when you feel like you need that time, sit in the car, sit in the car. Hey, cuz, what's up, Terry? Sit in the car. You ever see somebody, listen, dudes, if you see your wife sitting in the car, don't worry about her. She is not cheating on you, okay? And talking to another dude. We taking some me time, all right? That's what that is all about, sitting in the car, because you know, as soon as you walk through the door, everybody is coming at you. All right. So you have to take time for me. Um, boosting your concentration. I'm gonna give you some tips on that. Make sure that you sleep more at least six hours. Now they're saying six hours with everything that's going on. Exercise. Why you want to exercise? You want to exercise more so that you can like bam, get that blood circulating to the brain. Also take breaks, take breaks because when you focus too much, private breaks. Okay. <laughs> Not with everybody else. Uh, 15 to 30 minutes if you have to, to focus on you. Staying motivated. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to give you these tips real quick and I'll be done. I promise you this. Do things that others aren't going to do. Okay? Do things that others aren't going to do. You're going to have to do that in order to stay motivated. Master your thoughts. Know what it is that you want to do and say, okay, let me focus on this. Let me do the research that I need to do. Uh, focus on your dreams. Whatever your dreams are, write them down. Make it plain. You'll hear me say that over and over and over again. Write it down on a piece of paper. Write it down. Focus on your dreams. Do not deviate away from it. Make excellence a habit. Especially when you're talking about you. Okay? Don't have do things when it's pertaining to yourself. Make it about you. Um, follow your own plan. Even though that might sound crazy, you'd be like, okay, wait, what was my plan? Because when you write it down and you make it plain and you have a plan of what you want to do, and then like, say you go and revisit it, you're like, what was I thinking? Don't worry about what you were thinking. Don't worry about what you were thinking. Just follow the plan that you had written because it made sense at some time, okay? Commit to your schedule. I told you guys before, commit to your schedule. Don't let, hey, Doy, don't let anybody come in. Boom, those distractions, I'm telling you, again and again and again. When you are focusing on you, power your phone off. If you have children, your mother calling, your aunt, your grandmother, all that other stuff, that phone ring and we have the tendency to look. Somebody shot me a text. Let me look and see what this text say. Bye. This is my time and I have to focus on me. Just like certain jobs. Remember, uh, there was a time and I still have a job. Good morning, Melissa. I still have a job where you can't take your phone into the building. You need to be focused on what it is that you have to do. And I would recommend that you Turn your phones off when you're focused on you. Take two hours out. Power that phone off. Guess what? Leave a message. Remember back in the day, if you wasn't at home, they left a message on the dog on the, what's that called? The uh, answer machine. And you didn't get it. Now people are upset that you walking through. You know, you might be at the grocery store. Hey, I called you. You didn't answer. Oh, I got something else to do, honey. Listen, focus on you. I got to tell you over and over again, schedule your time, block it out. Do what you have to do for you because I want you guys to be successful. And last but not least, please, when it, be, when it comes to you, don't waver. All right, lovely people, that is my time. I thoroughly enjoyed you as I do each and every single Friday. Be inspired right here, 7 a.m. I got it for you. Find you, embrace you. Most importantly, always, always love you. Until next week, people, be inspired right here. Hey, the Shop Talk 
question of the week will be coming up today, and it's about friends. What about your friends? Hey, what's going on, Deanna? South Carolina, shout out. It's your girl. Peace.